And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Chirostenodes, which was a request from Crow via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Chirostenodes was an oviraptorosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Alberta, Canada. It looked similar to oviraptor, you know, walked on two legs, it had a long neck and tail, and a crest on the head. It's estimated to be around 8.2 to 8.5 feet, or 2.5 to 2.6 meters long. Wow, that's specific. Yeah. But Gregory Paul estimated it to weigh 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. And Melina Perez and Laramendi estimated later that it weighed 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. That's a bit of a difference. Yeah. Kirstenodes had a beak. It was probably an omnivore or herbivore. It had long, powerful legs and slender toes. And it had long arms and slender, relatively straight claws. It may have gone for soft-bodied prey and then would impale them and hook them with the second claw, which was unusually straight. And the prey could have been like grub or amphibians, reptiles, or mammals. Oh, so it's got like a fork built into its hand? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Maybe more like a spear than a fork. <laughs> yeah. The interesting thing, though, is if Chirostenodes had large feathers on its fingers, because that's been found in other oviraptorosaurs then it wouldn't have been able to use that claw to impale. Hmm, I see. So it's just, it maybe it did this. We don't know for sure. So that'd be a good one to find some actual feathers of, if we could, that specific species, because it would tell us a lot more about what it was up to. Yes. The type species is Chirostenodes pergracilis. The first fossils were found in 1914 by George Sternberg. He found a pair of hands. Lawrence Lamb studied the fossils, but died before he was able to name them. No. Oh. So Charles Whitney Gilmore named Chirostenodes in 1924, and the name comes from Lamb's Notes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. The genus name means narrow-handed, and the species name means throughout gracile. Narrow-handed makes sense. If all you have is hands, mm -hmm. you got to name it after the hands. <laughs> yes. It's so weird finding only hands of an animal, too. Like, could you imagine you just find hands? Yeah, dino chiros. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so strange. <laughs> doesn't happen very often usually you find like a femur or you'll find like some large bone maybe some vertebrae mm -hmm. teeth but not usually just the hands <laughs> there was another specimen found that included a set of jaws with teeth but later that one was renamed to richard ostesia and it's a dromaeosaur it got renamed because chirostenodes did not have teeth or at least we think it didn't if we've never found a skull well, other fossils were found that were later referred to chirostenodes, and that includes some feet that were originally thought to be macrophalangia and lower jaws that were thought to be cenanathus. In 1969, Edwin Colbert and Dale Russell suggested that chirostenodes and macrophalangia were synonymous. Cenanathus was found to be an oviraptorosaur. Originally, it was thought to be a bird. And that was after the oviraptorid Elmosaurus was described by Osmoska in 1981. It was found in Mongolia. So that's how they were able to reference these other materials. Hmm. How we found out it didn't have teeth. Yeah. Now, in 1988, Phil Curry and Dale Russell studied a specimen that had been in storage since 1923, and that helped to link all of these fossils. And so they were all considered to be chirostenodes. Cool. Yeah, that's the best thing. <laughs> you find a jaw over here and hands over there and you think, well, they probably go together. And then you find the fossil that actually has both of them in mm -hmm. one individual. And you know they do. <laughs> in 1971, Joel Crockhaft named a second species of Cenanathus. At the time, he still thought that it was a bird. But Russell and Curry suggested that this second species was more gracile and it was smaller. So they named it as a second species of Elmosaurus as Elmosaurus elegans. Hans Dieter Seuss renamed Elmosaurus elegans to Chirostenodes elegans in 1997, but then it became Lepterhynchos in 2013. Hmm. And later studies found Chirostenodes and Cenanathus to be distinct from each other. Other dinosaurs that used to be considered to be Chirostenodes include Epichirostenodes and Anzu. In 2019, Funston and Curry described some newly found Chirostenodes fossils, including jaws, vertebrae, and parts of the hind limb. In 2001, Bruce Rothschild and others some studied stress fractures in theropods and found that out of 17 Chirostenodes bones, only one had stress fractures. 
which isn't too bad, I guess. <laughs> yeah, one out of 17. Yeah. <laughs> still seems not great. <laughs> Other dinosaurs that lived around the same time and place as Chirostenodes included ankylosaurs, ceratopsians, hadrosaurs, and theropods. And other animals included amphibians, crocodilians, lizards, fish, plesiosaurs, and mammals. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.